Hi friends, this is Vijita. Welcome to my channel once again. Uh, today in this video, we will discuss about a very important topic that is a uh, financial statement version. Now, what is this? This has been configured in the system in order to sketch, in order to design a balance sheet format. Okay, and based on this format designed, the at the end of the year, the balance sheet will be prepared. Okay, so how the balance sheet format will look like that will be given by your client so you have to require this uh, requirement from your client itself that what will be your balance sheet format and what format they give you based on that same you have to design in your system and based on this the at the end of the year the balance sheet data will be coming in so uh, say for an example first of all i am showing you uh, what format we are going to do here now that depends upon as i mentioned earlier that depends upon your client so first of all in a balance sheet we have you all know balance sheet uh, so first of all in our uh, balance sheet we have two side one is asset another one is lab correct so in asset what all we have will be having fixed asset first of all and under the fixed asset, yeah, fixed asset. Under the fixed asset, we will be having building, uh, land, all these things. Now, we can have the current asset as well. Now, the current asset will be having different, different section. Cash, uh, 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 cash and bank. And obviously, the customers, advances, all these things will be under current asset. So, I can mention as current asset. Or I can... Uh, 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 I mean, uh, I can uh, uh, make it more meaningful like uh, cash and bank, and uh, I can mention others as well. Under liability, we'll be having different things like capital. Okay, so going uh, SPRO financial accounting now general ledger accounting now business transaction now um, closing now document now define financial version fine so so uh, i had to delete something so that i did so uh, anyway it, it is not your uh, 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 it is not something that you should be looking at so leave that part now i'm just going to uh, here the part i already showed you define financial version so i'm just going inside so now here i'll have to define my financial statement version in short it is known as fsb so i'm clicking the new entry I have to give a FSV name here. Uh, let me give triple A. So, in name, let me give commercial balance sheet for ABC. ABC is my company code. Main language, I have an English language. I am choosing that. Item is auto. It should be ticked on. Now, this one. Chart of account. My chart of account is also ABC. So, I am just taking it. Now, I am just saving it. Now I am clicking on this financial statement, uh, financial statement version. Yes. Now I will be clicking on create item. Now create item means what? Create item means what all heads your business has suggested. Okay. So what all heads they have suggested you have to, you have to design it here. So in my case I have these heads under asset. I am just adding them and under liability I have these two asset uh, sorry under liability I have these two head so I'll be just adding them just adding them fine so under fixed asset now I have to assign the accounts assign the accounts means assign the adding the GL accounts under the respective head so I'm assigning accounts under fixed asset let me check what all fixed assets I have. Oh, 
company code is ABC. Okay, uh, my building is the fixed asset, and I have only this one as the fixed asset. Fine, debit credit. I will tick both on pressing enter. Now going to the next one, cash and bank. Again, assign account. Now under cash and bank, I have many. Like, if I give my company code ABC. See, um, HSBC Bank is one of the bank. City Bank is also one of the bank, and SBI Bank is also one of the bank. So. 101 to 102 and then 109 these three are my bank 101 to 102 and 109 is my bank again so i have added them fine now others under the others what all i should be selecting let me check i have debtors so debtors i should be selecting debtors i have debtors hmm debtors debtors where is my debtors Customers, I think I saw something. Customer advance is different. Details or customers. Let me check. Recon customer, yes. Uh, custom, in fact, I have two uh, customer reconciliation account. 103 to 104 both i should be giving so 103 to 104 oh sorry i should be selecting the debit and credit now these all are added fine fine now Mm, capital I don't have anything as of now as capital but profit and loss account I have many so uh, I'm just adding them uh, starting from uh, the telephone expenses all are uh, you know uh, this one uh, the uh, profit and loss section so sta uh, starting from two, uh, 202 uh, 202 273 all are the profit and loss account so let me add them 202 273 just ticking both the one pressing enter Okay, so my balance sheet format is ready as per my requirement. So I'm just saving it. Fine. Now I'm going to run the balance sheet. What is the T code? F dot zero one is the T code for the financial statement version. My company code is ABC financial statement version has automatically came up okay so here it is reporting to 2023 that is fine absolutely fine so i'm just take, taking this saving uh, sorry executing this this is the format okay see under cash and bank bank account has came up okay so uh, under uh, the others this has came up okay under profit and loss these all came up 
telephone expenses, printing expenses, advertising expenses. Others are not coming in. Why? Because I had chosen 2023 and it is a demo server. So uh, in my year 2023, only these accounts has the balances. Accordingly, it is showing. Okay. So uh, that's the thing. That's the concept. So uh, I hope this is very much clear to you. If not, then please uh, put your questions in the comment section. I will surely try to answer all of your query. And uh, keep watching the channel. If you have liked the video, then like and uh, share it as many as uh, as many as times it is possible. Uh, I'll surely come up with some new, uh, new videos in next few days. Till then, keep watching the channel. Thank you. Take care.